Hello, how is it going? This is Andrew, and I'm going to talk about, discuss some points in relation to uh, my experiences within looking for work, finding a job, and just exploring this point a little bit about what it means to find work, or work, or participate, or exist within this current world system, um, current capitalistic system based on profit um, where there's a money system that is based on profit and based on getting more for yourself um, uh, there was a few videos out recently from Destiny members uh, in relation to this one of them um, referring to a woman that lost her check. Uh, she worked hard at her job and then lost her check and is now finding herself in a situation um, where there is no support for such situations that happen. No consideration at all for, I mean, a very practical point where it's very possible that could happen to anyone and I mean there's nothing in place to consider anything like that. It's kind of like every person for themselves. Um, and I'm just referring to it as an example that is one of millions that show how the individual is not being accounted for, um, not being considered, and how we have accepted a way of existing that is I mean I don't even know what to describe it as um, I mean it's just the point that we don't question we just accept how things are. We accept how money works, how we have to manipulate ourselves um, in order to present ourselves in a specific way to get money. I mean, shaping and forming ourselves to get money. So, there's a lot of points right now that have come up because um, I've been busy with looking for work for a while and sort of going through that process and what that entails and what that reveals um, at this moment in time. And obviously, <laughs> it's quite interesting to see, for example, a point of resistance coming up to, say, a job that would be more physically demanding and then look at the point of child labor where you have, you know, 13, 14 year old children working 16 hours a day. And I mean, how could I resist or justify a resistance towards a particular job that's difficult that I can actually do that's available for me because I don't want to because it's hard. So I mean, um, that was one point that obviously has come up. Um, but uh, another point that I wanted to talk about was one thing I noticed that I was doing was uh, as I apply for jobs, um, I'm writing cover letters to companies that I don't want to work for, but I have to because that's what's available at the moment in this system and one requires money to live and therefore you you just apply for those jobs because that's the choice you have um, and I mean I'm not gonna be ignorant of the actual of what is really here of what is really happening of how the world is working and so you, you know, for at the time being, I have to apply for specific jobs because that's what's available. And 
Um, you got to sort of do what's necessary to support yourself in this world at the moment. So that's what I'm going to do. And so I apply for jobs that I don't want because I need money. Um, now, obviously, I'm looking at different ways of how to or where this is going to place me. And all of these considerations are within the context of how will this support bringing forth an equal money system because at the moment that is the only point that I can see or I'm aware of that will actually change the face of this reality, change this world into a world where an individual no longer is forced to do something they don't want to do just because they need money or where an individual I mean there's a lot of points related to that um, I mean it's not even about not wanting to do something from the perspective of laziness um, because obviously there is a point within this world where it's not about you have to do it so you do it kind of thing. I see it more from the perspective of self-expression and participating with life as a member of this world. And you participate because you understand who you are in relation to this world and you're alive. Um, but that has become such a drain and it almost like distorted or disillusioned because the current system is set up in such a way that completely conditions the human being into such a way of living that they believe or have now arrived at a point where life and living is only seen from the perspective of what is here, meaning the system that directs them and controls them and they have to work for money, they have to get out of bed to do jobs they don't necessarily want to do because that's how the system works. And so from a certain perspective I understand how one could find it difficult to experience themselves as being alive um, as being as wanting to get out of bed and wanting to you know participate so it's like this massive resistance point that is sort of built up um, through existing within this system and uh, it just gets to a point where you're kind of like you know what do you you know, what am I going to have to do in this world? Um, uh, so I'm just referring here to the point of, you know, not wanting to do something. And I mean, feeling resistance or laziness, for example. Um, Okay, I'm just going to move on now because um, I lost my track. I lost my track. <laughs> um, you know, the track that exists as every human being's life and their way of being, their way of moving and speaking. It's like tracks. You, you speak and move and direct yourself within your day in very specific ways and it's the same every day because you don't know how to do anything else um, it's just easier to you know get out of bed and step into those tracks that are already pre-laid for you that you don't have to think about what you're doing they're already there you just step into them and 
It just takes you on a ride through your life and through your day. You know, meeting certain checkpoints, doing certain things, you just kind of stand in the tracks that are laid down for you as your life.